for Friday's handwriting, we'll start by thinking about our finger muscles and we can use something very easy in the house that hopefully lots of you have got. But I'm hoping you've got a much trickier one than I have. Let's have a look. A puzzle. Mm, the puzzle I can find maybe isn't really going to help me too much because the pieces are way too big. But I reckon if you've got one at home that's got lots of pieces, like 50 or 100, because they'll be much smaller, a bit fiddly, that'd be perfect to warm up your finger muscles and get them ready for handwriting. Should we just do a couple together? Right, this is a jar of jam. What does that begin with? Yeah, we've been doing that one, haven't we? J, now that I found the J here. That says jar. Let's just do one more. Oh, I recognise this phoneme. What's this phoneme here? So which picture is it going to be? Oh, I've got a clue. I'm going to read it first. V, a, n, van. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right, so have a go at some puzzles today. That will help warm up your muscles first. And then to practice the t, the t, I'm going to make my own glitter tray from home. So I've just got like a t empty tin from our Christmas stash. And I've got some glitter here, which I'm going to pour into the tray. Because then the lid, I can keep this glitter tray for a long time. That's it. And then... Push it out a bit and don't get all over your family's carpets and things, guys. And then I've got a paintbrush and I'm ready to go. So you can make a glitter tray at home if you've got some of these things. And if not, remember you can put something else in it. I saw someone use rice and there's you can use flour, couldn't you? So remember the t, just like the other long ladder letters, we start at the top, we come all the way down, and we flick, we take our well, it's a brush this time. And we do the line across, making sure this one is this side is slightly longer. So you could do that with a brush, you could do it with your finger. Just gonna do it again, shake it back to how it was. All right, start at the top, come all the way down, flick, and then go across the top, making sure that side's slightly longer. So have a go at doing some of those, and you could practice the l and the i as well if you wish. And today, if you're ready and you want to try it on the line, I've got my sharp pencil. I'm going to make sure we go straight, remember, so it's not allowed to be wiggly. And then we get to the line and then do the flick. All right, so you start at the top, come all the way down and flick. And then do the line across. Do it again. Down, flick, and then across. Do you reckon you can do that? Take your time. All right, what we don't want though is we don't want letters and then this thing going like this. So make sure it's not too long that sign. All right, I'll get those. To finish, I'm just going to do what I did yesterday. Have a look how they sit together, the family of long ladder letters on the line. So we've got an ascender with a l, nice long letter. Start from the top, come all the way down and flick. The I, normal height letter, come down and flick and do the dot. And remember the T isn't as long as the L, but it has to start taller than the I because we've got that line that goes across it. So where the dot is there, I'm going to come all the way down, flick, and then go across at the height of that I. One more time. Let's keep that there. So we go... Start at the top, come all the way down, flick, I, normal size letter. Start at the top, come all the way down, flick, do the dot, the t. Start a bit higher, remember? Start at the top, come all the way down, flick, and then do the cross part at the same height as the I. Okay.